Today I have three practical tips for you so that you can manage and minimize the biggest time wasters you're experiencing at work. Now this past week I had the experience to speak with over 200 women about what they feel are the biggest time wasters in their work day. What are people doing that show them that they're not respecting their time? By far, far and large, these were the three biggest areas for concern and I'm going to give you a practical strategy for each. Number one was the fact that you would give someone access to your calendar to book a meeting and they would double book. They would book in a spot that was already filled. In this case, my best recommendation is to have a template saved in your emails that addresses this issue that you can quickly send off. Inform them that this is a double book time and they will need to reschedule. This very easily puts the ball back in their court and allows them to then solve the problem so you don't have to be scrambling. Number two, the concern was that people would come and ask for advice or ask for solutions without attempting to solve the problem themselves. In this case, my recommendation to you is one standard line, one standard question. Ask them, can you walk me through how you've approached solving this problem already? This again puts the ball in their court. Either they will have an answer for you and will give you scenarios of what they've tried and then you can jump in from there, or you will quickly be able to identify if they have not in fact done anything to solve this problem. Then you can ask this question before you jump in and give your energy and time to solving it. If they have not made an attempt, you can send them back and tell them that you will happily offer support once they have given it their best go. The third scenario is when you are training a new individual and they are not taking notes and sure enough, a day or two later, they're back asking you to show them again. This is in inefficient. For sure, we can all agree this is very inefficient use of everybody's time. So again, I would go with the standard line and I would set an expectation from the start. I would tell them before you begin. It is my expectation that notes are being taken during the training. It may seem straightforward to you now as we go through it together, but in a day or two, you're going to have questions and need something to refer back to. I cannot guarantee for you that I will have time to retrain you. When you lead with a clear expectation, it allows everyone to know how you feel, what your availability is, what's your access, and they will adjust their behavior accordingly. In this situation, everybody's gonna know that they have to fend for themselves and take these notes. So I hope as you go into your workday, one or all of these strategies will apply to you and you can use this to save yourself some of your very valuable time and energy. Please let me know if it helped.